Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. So this is kind of interesting. I am trying something new. I'm trying to do like a plan with me vlog and kind of just take you along the day for my random, productive, kind of boring and standard Wednesday to be honest with you. Um, I'm actually vlogging this on my phone while I'm doing this voiceover. So it's a two for, you know, two for one. <laughs> but I am very inspired by Helen of Coffee Monsters Co. to try this. I've seen her do this plenty of times. They're actually one of my favorite videos to watch from her channel. And for 2022, one of my favorite new things that I want to try to do is to try to do some vlogging and just have some different content for my channel. So with that being said, this is super time consuming. <laughs> you have to be very intentional about what you're vlogging. And I used to enjoy vlogging a lot, especially in college and a little bit after college, but it is very time consuming. And then also it's kind of like this gray area because I try really hard to still keep my life very private and separate. So you, of course, won't see too much about like what I do with work just because I do try to keep that private and separate. And also some parts of my personal life I'm not going to share, of course. But um, I like this idea of just taking you along with me. And yeah, so you might actually hear this voiceover in, <laughs> in a vlog. So kind of like Inception. I think it's pretty cool. But that's it for this vlog clip. I'm going to actually stop my phone recording. All right, guys. So doing <laughs> a voiceover a day later, um, I appreciate all of the kind messages and comments on my very first planner vlog that I posted yesterday. Again, very inspired by Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. I have been super motivated and just um, excited to do them. So I've been doing a lot of that today as well on the 24th. And I am excited. I'm excited to put it together. It's a lot of fun editing. It brings me back to my vlogging days in college and high school. And it's just, it's just very exciting. It's something new. And I really appreciate that it's being received well. And your kind messages are encouraging me to continue doing it. So thank you to those that have reached out and commented. Um, but back to the videos that you all love too are these plan with me. So here I'm just putting down on my day covers. Um, I don't think I even talked about the kit, so I apologize. Um, but this kit is from Dash of Sun Designs. I have a code with her, it's Rachel10. And then um, I wanted to pair the day covers from the Gathered Layers collection. I'm obsessed with them, they're so pretty. Um, I'm kind of like hoarding them because I don't have too many um, for myself and I'm just kind of trying to be mindful about how much I use them. And it really just depends on the like, look of the entire spread and kit so I want it to match and I felt like it matched this really really nicely and I had so much fun using it it's incredibly beautiful I love that we didn't span the full width of a column when it came to these layered um, scallop circles and doilies so really love that look it's very simple it gives you some more space to use florals throughout and just overall I think it turned out really pretty and I also use the like thick uh, silver foil dividers that came with the kit. Um, I'm also going to use the extra washi strip that came with the kit and use that throughout as well just because I think the bottom washi came with like three separate sections um, or like three different strips. There was like a thick strip, a scallop strip, and then this silver foiled strip. So the one thing I really regret doing <laughs> is in the monthly section, I'm not a huge fan of the like fancy box with the um it looks like dashes but they're actually like foiled dots i just think it's kind of bold for that area and it doesn't really match the whole dainty thing that i was going for um let me know if i'm wrong if it still looks fine i mean i'm just you know being overly critical of myself of course um but with that being said i totally paired these gorgeous florals from sadie stickers i think this was a part of the mistletoe um is, it, is that right? I think so. Something like that. It was a part of a kit that I didn't end up using, but I really fell in love with the florals. And I'm so glad it was a close enough match, if not perfect in my opinion, for this kit. And I'm thankful because the kit didn't come with florals. And, you know, florals are super trending and I really love the way it looks with layering. I just think it adds something so beautiful and special to a spread. And I will say though, I struggled with these florals because of the scale of like the flowers itself. I felt like to actually get the flowers, I had to keep like larger pieces of it. And if you see here for me to use like the edges, I was only getting like the green leafy parts, which isn't a big deal, but I did want to also 
implement more of that really pretty like um, peach, you know, light pink color. I don't know. I'm terrible with colors. We all know this. We get it. <laughs> um, but other than that, the flowers are incredibly beautiful. I just think the scale was different than what I'm used to planning with. And that's kind of something that I'm okay with right now because I'm experimenting with different things, like with my art journal. I'm sharing that a little bit more. I did a mixed, or I'm doing a mixed metals plan with me collab. And that has been throwing me off. But to be honest with you, it's been kind of exciting. And I'm really just taking the challenge like full on. And it's been incredibly fun and exciting. So I'm just kind of trying a lot of different things, including vlogging and just experimenting. And it's been really fun and exciting and exhilarating. So here I'm just scattering the full boxes like I typically do. And I can't remember which full box I kept out or if I even did. But I struggled so much with the um, headers above the second and third row of full boxes. I don't know why because I was trying to include these scallop headers, but I wanted to add something extra. I of course deleted the entire clip of me going crazy and trying to change things up. <laughs> um, that's the beautiful thing about editing, right? Like you don't see that um, process of going through so many trial and errors, but <laughs> it worked out eventually. Um, I'm not in love with how it turned out with, you know, the scallop and then the um, snow trim, but it still turned out pretty. It just isn't like my favorite. So here on Monday, I'm just marking that it was a super rainy day. So nothing crazy or special there. Um, I also tried to use another layered um, scallop circle and doily in the monthly section. So it kind of added, you know, the same flow with the rest of the day covers or it matched. Um, so I'm marking all of my meetings the same way using these custom scripts from Paper Trail Plans. I, of course, got them in black. You guys know, um, I think I've said this before, but if you're new to my channel, hi, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. But also because, um, I don't know what I'm saying, but I use black scripts to mark like regular daily things, but I really love using foiled scripts for like events, holidays, hello seasons, um, things like that, like larger things that I want to stand out, including my monthly scripts. So to mark my meetings, I'm using these glasses from Crafts by Towie. She just came out with some new, newer ones as well. So I'm pulling those in and I didn't want to use like a box or anything. So instead I just kind of paired it with some like florals to, to add to it. And I think that's kind of why I really like the spread because I didn't use too many boxes and I felt like it was quite balanced. And to mark, what did I mark there? I don't have my planner in front of me. Oh, I, I think I uploaded a plan with me or something. So I used a cloud planner from Whiter Stationery to mark that. Um, of course, I used a J sticker that is a custom from Panda Bird Design to mark that all of his new toys came in this day. I have to kind of, I have to like spread them out. Like I can't give him all of his toys at once because they will all be demolished that same day. So I have to be, you know, sparing, you know. Anyway, so here I'm using a flourish also from Dash and Sun Designs. And, oh, I actually marked filming a plan with me, not uploading, sorry. So I'm just changing up how I marked Jace getting his new toys. What I did here was actually cutting up a section from the top part of the sticker sheet, which has like Dash of Sun designs, but it had this really pretty blue that was a part of the kit. So to bring that in a little bit more, I just cut it up and then I layered a Crafts by Towie um, third box or a quarter box. So the spread is going to look pretty empty <laughs> because there's a lot of things that I want to keep private that happened this week, um, but you guys will probably hear a little bit about it later on. And um, also because I'm still waiting on some stickers to come in to mark this one particular thing, which I don't have a problem sharing with you. But to mark anything that was related to this, I used shadow boxes from my Gathered Layers collection with Jess of Panda Bird Design. And I offset the boxes, heavily inspired by Lauren of Plan Moj Plan. Been really digging how that looks. I think it looks really good. Um, but so basically on Monday, I got a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> I finally got like my dream vehicle. Um, and I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler, but I always wanted to be mindful of like my finances first and be fiscally responsible prior to just getting one. Um, it was a second hand and it's in beautiful condition. <laughs> it's a beautiful vehicle. And um, yeah, I, th I feel like everything kind of lined up perfectly. I was not expecting to find that. And so like basically the story is here's story time. So Greg is very much into looking at cars. He's very into sports cars and he knows everything and anything with an engine. Um, like all the details of stuff, like he's just super into it. You know, I'm not going to get into it because I don't know. Um, 
but he is on like car gurus and like car apps like it's social media it's so funny um but it benefits me because i don't like know too much about vehicles like that and he's very knowledgeable about stuff so he was like looking through car gurus and he was telling me that he saw this jeep wrangler and it was a two-door so i have a two-door um i will you know i kind of went back and forth about a four-door and a two-door but in my opinion i felt like the, the four-door would just be too much i was finding that i wasn't even using like the back doors in my previous vehicle very often i'm probably going to regret that eventually down the road or something but um also just because i felt like the four-door was just too large um you know just it was like just a way larger vehicle um but so basically what i mean about like everything kind of lining up perfectly the economy and like the vehicles like they're so expensive like houses everything is so jacked up in price <laughs> um oh, excuse me so it's very like surprising that I was able to get the Jeep for the price that I did and I'm very thankful you know so very appreciative everything like lined up perfectly we went and looked at it that exact same day when we saw it and um it's also perfect too because I work from home so I don't you know drive very often anyways and commute to work so that's been working out really perfectly and it's just it's great like it's it's it was a very like sentimental and emotional moment for me because I have wanted a Jeep Wrangler for such a long time and I just, you know, I, I'm very, I try to be very fiscally responsible. So I, I just never did it. I always had like very practical vehicles when there's nothing wrong with practical vehicles. I want to reiterate that. Um, so not knocking that at all because I've always had very like practical vehicles, but I, I know like what comes with having and owning a Jeep Wrangler. Um, but I will say like, I was so emotional when I got it because it meant so much to me. Like it was, it was a gift to myself after I got this job permanently full time and um, I waited, I worked hard for it and it just, you know, I'm going to pat myself on the back here because I don't do this very often. So <laughs> I'm very proud of myself and it's just, it was definitely so representative of everything I've been kind of working towards in my life and career and just seeing everything kind of come together has been so beautiful and I just, I'm, I feel incredibly blessed. So um, yeah, I feel very uncomfortable and weird talking about myself and like, like accomplishments. I'm just, I don't know. I try to be very humble and I am a very humble person. So this makes me uncomfortable. So yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So those spaces you'll see with the shadow boxes offset with another square box. Those are to mark things like me getting my Jeep. Um, and then on Wednesday they, uh, they were closed obviously whenever I can't talk. <laughs> so on Monday, um, whenever I got the Jeep, it was really late at nighttime. So their service department was already closed and so they wanted to offer you know they offer like a free detailing so they did the detailing and deep cleaning and all that good stuff on Wednesday morning so I went there I kind of killed like two two birds with one stone I read a book I um, or read a couple chapters of my book I um, edited a plan with me I think I even was like walking in the parking lot just because I wanted to like move and not sit still in the lobby the whole time and yeah, so that's kind of what happened there. I don't remember what else I marked, so I do apologize. Um, but the other things I'm going to keep private, um, you will probably hear about that in the future. So stay tuned. Um, <laughs> I don't want to get too in, you know, into that yet. But so on Thursday morning, I just, you know, woke up and got so many amazing cuddles and love from Jace. If you guys have, you know, watched my plan with me, then you're not new to my channel. You know that I talk a lot about Jace, like being um he's definitely like that boy that's like mom stop like you're embarrassing me like you know what I mean like that's definitely <laughs> how he is like when it comes to me showing him any affection but like when it's just him and I um especially in the morning and you know when he's napping and like at night nighttime he's so cuddly and I think it's hilarious <laughs> but I do like get you know I do get sad when he doesn't want to like cuddle me 24 7 because I I do which I get it personal space right he's probably like mom chill um, but anyway, I wanted to mark that. And on Wednesday, it was a beautiful day outside. It was probably like a perfect spring day and in the middle of winter. So I wanted to mark that we took the Jeep out with the top off because I have a soft top and, um, kind of experimenting with the, with the vehicle and just seeing, you know, you know, playing around with it and just all the things that you do when you get something new and it's, it's exciting. So we did that. Um, oh my gosh, it was so funny. I texted Tay and I was like, yeah, we're going to go uh, drive the Jeep with the top down. She was, <laughs> and I had to reiterate. I was like, not my top, but like the top of the Jeep. <laughs> like, let's keep this PG, you know? <laughs> um, I thought that was cute and funny, but 
yeah so anyways um i was i've been sitting on the name for my jeep for a while now um i don't I've never named any of my vehicles, but I knew like with my Jeep Wrangler, like I just, it had to be very special. Um, but so it's a white Jeep Wrangler with a brown soft top. And I never would have thought that I would have like fallen in love with a brown soft top, but I'm obsessed with it. It's so pretty. Um, it kind of gives me that um, like pretty vibe, but also still kind of like cool. And yeah, I'm very excited. So I decided on the name Betty <laughs> because uh, for Betty White, also in memory of her and I grew up watching the Golden Girls with my mom all the time, like it was our thing, and it's just very special to me, so I wanted to do that um, and name her after that. So I was talking to one of my good friends, too, and <laughs> um, I was telling her, like, I was trying to tell her I didn't know how I felt about the name because I was kind of going back and forth about, like, other options, and, you know, Betty was a popular term to, that was used in the 80s for slaying as, like, a pretty young woman or like a babe or an attractive woman. Um, and that's how I view my Jeep. Like she's just, she's a babe. Like I think she's so beautiful. And it's also like a cool like surf and skater term. Um, like she's that pretty girl, but she's also got that like kind of cool vibe. And also if you are familiar with the Flintstones, like comes from that. So really, really cool. I think it actually matches her perfectly. And she's so pretty. I'm obsessed. I know it sounds silly, but... <laughs> Um, I don't, I, you know, I'm going to let myself be excited. You know, let me calm down. I'm very bad about letting myself be excited about things and proud about stuff because I just like my humility gets the best of me, but I'm so happy and excited and I get excited to drive again, which is silly because normally, normally I'm such a homebody and I don't want to go anywhere, but now it's like, I'll drive, I'll drive. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? I'll do it. <laughs> Even though gas ain't cheap, you know, so I'm kind of like, ugh. but it's, it's cool because I feel like I haven't, you know, had to commute to work for almost eight months now. So I think it works out. So it's pretty cool. But anyways, <laughs> um, what happened on Thursday? So yeah, I, we took the Jeep out for a, um, a ride and we had the top off and we grabbed some wings. Um, I watched the documentary of Centoya Brown and yeah, I, I have a lot of opinions about it, but I will keep a lot of those to myself. Um, it was definitely very emotional and sad and heartbreaking. Um, so anyways, all right. On Friday, I had meetings. I packed for a trip. Uh, God, wow. I packed for a trip I was going to. I have no idea what just happened. This is what happens when you talk all day for work. I had six meetings today. I have been filming vlogs and I feel like I'm just constantly talking to myself. You know, <laughs> that's where we are right now. <laughs> um, I took a nap and then to mark just my our like plane trip I just used an airplane from white chair stationery and I love how this looks I used one of the midi boxes that came with the kit and some of the leaves and like greenery coming out of it I think that turned out really pretty later on I'll put a bow on the airplane so on Saturday we had mimosas and breakfast that's an icon from crafts by Towie um had a Starbucks run so the Starbucks run is also a script from paper trail plans it is not a custom so you can certainly pick that up um, here I'm marking something else special. Yeah, so I don't think I only used um, this like layering situation to mark all Jeep related things, but this was something else that I wanted to mark and keep off camera um, until further notice. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I wanted to just use that to kind of keep it consistent because I think I was using the shadow boxes every other day or it was spread out pretty evenly throughout the week and I wanted it to be balanced. Um, we went to the Asian market and grabbed some stuff for Korean barbecue. And then what else happened here? Oh, we grabbed ice cream. So this is an ice cream cone as well as that package. Um, those are both from White Deer Stationery. That bow is from Sadie Stickers. And here I'm just remembering to use the rest of, um, like the washi trim or whatever <laughs> to trim the bottom part of these columns. I think I was forgetting a little bit, but you know, fast forwarded and there it is. It's great. Um, okay. So on Sunday, I, what am I marking here? I really am. So I feel like I'm going really slow and I'm talking faster than I'm putting stickers down. Okay. So here's what I was talking about with the florals, like the scale of it, like the actual pink flower was in the middle. So trying to use the ends and the piecier parts, uh, was challenging because it was all greenery. So, um, that's why I feel like there was definitely more green in this spread then there was actually like some pinks which is not a big deal um i still think it turned out really pretty but it would have been fun to have some more of that really pretty like neutral pink color as well so 
had Starbucks, used another flourish from the same shop, Dash of Sun Designs. And then here I'm using the same package just to mark um, something else. And I think I'm leaving that off camera as well. I'm using some more florals and a small snowflake, a small half snowflake from Honey Inked just to fill in this space here. So really pretty. Um, anyways, I just want to ask you guys, have you ever done a mixed like metal spread before? I'm really nervous <laughs> to see how the entire thing looks. So far I've filmed like the foundation and Monday and I'm, I'm just really nervous. I have no idea how it's going to turn out or how it's going to look. Um, but fingers crossed it's going to be really pretty and cute still. So we shall see. I think it turns out it's turning out really pretty. I think it's just different. Um, and I'm, I have to be like super intentional. Like I think the kit already has a lot of, um, like rose gold elements. Um, and then I'm pairing silver with it. So I'm using silver accents, but I have to also be intentional about like using other rose gold stickers too. Like I'm telling myself to only use rose gold icons. So it's a good balance. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but I'm going to make it work. I, I think I'll talk a little bit more about it during that actual plan with me. It's just been very challenging, but I think it's cool and it's a great and fun challenge. And it's definitely something different, which is, is something I want to do like for 2022. So yeah, I think that's the entire spread. Here are the leftover stickers and I really hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're doing well. Talk to you later. Bye. Blocking my way I can't feel further away.